Welcome to another episode of Power Alphas. I'm one of your co-hosts, Savvy Piscatelli. And as always, I got my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fiance. Hopefully, you know, not many more times I say fiance. Soon to be. Soon to be wife, Amanda <laughs> Sacramento. How you doing today, beautiful? You're going to have to practice that intro. You're getting so used I'm to fiance. I'm going to have to fiance. change it. I'm yeah, gonna probably going like, to make a mistake. Wife, uh, fiance, <laughs> wife. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to another episode. We are counting down the days. Till hey, we tie the knot. We're in October right now. Wild. That means there is less than one month to our wedding. I know it's. Are you nervous? Scary. Um, am I nervous? So, I'm a little nervous just because I'm so OCD, as you know. So I just want to want everything to be so perfect. Obviously, some stuff's out of my control, and I gotta, you know, let things just flow and have a great time, which I will. But other than that, I'm not nervous like to marry you. Are you nervous? Hell no. <laughs> but listen, I and I will say this before we even open the show. You have done a tremendous job with the wedding planner, and I know I haven't been as involved. But if you need me these next 25 days to pick up some slack, <laughs> please let me know. Because I, I know, I know the closer you get, though, you're gonna have more things pop up, and I want to yeah. make sure I help you with more. And I know, you know, um, for the most part, you two, you two women have done a very great job. Uh, so Thank you. I don't want you to be stressed though and overwhelmed. So no, please no, no. give some stuff to me if you need to. Um, but yeah, now I mean, shit, we're in, we're in October. It's October first, October second now, and you know now it's about buckling up the little things. I feel like we really have to get the next twenty eight days. Wait, is it exactly a month? Yeah, it's exactly a month. October second. Well, yeah, November second. I'm just thinking that. So well, this Saturday, days are all a this bigger. Saturday will be a month. Exactly. Yeah, like dates wise though. Dates it's wise a is a month. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> it's a month. Wow. Yeah. Um, no, I appreciate that. And uh I was of course gonna make a joke, my sarcastic self that I am. Are. Um, you know, this is how he comes a month out and he's like, if you did need any help, like I'm here, but like for no. the last year and a half, like Let's not get it twisted. you're good. It's not get twisted. I've been involved, okay? <laughs> no, he I has. picked the venue, the food, I picked like, the big the big things, but no, she's done a good job of keeping me out, like the things that will probably fight about that me i have no knowledge of like yeah, the, like, like the florals, flowers the florals the you know uh what's the centerpiece Honestly, guys, on the table the other like, women out there that can relate to this who's planning a wedding or has planned a wedding you can relate that like no offense to men but you guys don't have like a sense of like i don't know if it's like common sense or just like you guys are just very like like stuck in your ways of like that's how much for floors yeah that's how much floors are like Disgusting. how what are, how much more are we going to talk about it it is what it is that's why that's a huge business and for some things it was just not worth like going down that path of like arguing about it because it is what it is like we either have a big wedding or we don't and that's what it came down to well listen i, I am extremely grateful um that we are having a beautiful wedding with both our families and I'm, I'm extremely grateful that we have the finances to be able to afford this but what i think is sad right now when you look at these costs of these weddings um, you know, I know right now in our economy, not even to switch the subject, but right now in our economy, most people can't buy houses. Most people can't afford groceries. And the reality is that no one's talking about is not many people can afford to get married right now. Oh, yeah. And that's, that's a sad reality. I mean, I'm extremely grateful that we've worked hard and we, we've done financially well and save our money and we can, we can create this amazing event for both our families. And I'm very excited. But that being said, it, it, it really is. The prices of these things are astronomical. Mm -hmm. And the sad reality is it's it's literally probably wiping out 80% of the people that can afford a wedding right now to have a good wedding. Like yeah. even three, four years ago, if people spent, I don't know, 50000 on a wedding four years ago, today it's a hundred. Oh, yeah. Guaranteed. Maybe, maybe more. Maybe, maybe more. They're if saying it's the same more inflation, than double. The same, yeah, so you yeah. think about it. If you spent 50000 four years ago, 2020, Right, yeah. 2021. You, you got to spend a hundred now. That's crazy to me. But you know, that being said, it's just you know. Uh, well, I, the thing is too, it's like we both have big families, right? Come from you know Italian families and half Dutch and Italian Irish. I have a huge Irish side of Irish side and my mom's side. And it's like we were either gonna go go big or go home, or it's like go big, have everyone together, or you do something very small and you guys like elope or you go to. Italy or something and you just do something but even that's costly though like just going to Italy and just saying like oh I a destination wedding right whatever that may be that's got to be super expensive Dude, nowadays my, traveling is not my, cheap my buddy just told me last week because he was asking he was just talking to me about the wedding and he's trying to come but his wife's got some stuff but he was telling me he just said man I, I don't mean to be rude or ask you but what's this costing you and your wife or fiance and he said to me he goes I, I'm just getting a lope right he goes I'm just gonna elope with the family it's mine cost 65,000 he said to me 
Because I yeah, can't but imagine. That's, that's even, like, that's a lot of money. That's a crazy 000. amount of money. But he's not even you doing a big say, wedding. just going to elope. But like, I, yeah, but I think he's doing a elope with a little destination. Well, they're probably. Yeah, but still, yeah. he said he's spending 65. And I'm like, yeah. what? Like, so the thing is, is like, like I said to you, it's, yeah, it's, listen, it's, I'm extremely excited. I'm not thinking about the money, even though it is a little stressful you in the sense of how much things cost. You can't think about the money, though. Anyway, it's 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 what's done is done, and it's going to be a beautiful weekend. We're going to have an amazing time. It's about the memories. Exactly. That's why I have you it's know memories. very strategic schedule and itineraries of photos and everything because there's no like you know we need to capture everything because all you, your mom and I said the other day like all you have left is your memories and I think life is all about memories. Absolutely. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, we can look back and we can go to our our phones or whatever it is and look at these photos and these videos and that's why like I don't think you know it's good to go cheap with like photography no, and right. videography and I have so bridal social coming and um, I'll talk about after the wedding on the podcast about all the vendors and stuff because I worked with a lot of vendors and everyone was really great um, our weddings at Park Chateau <clears throat> as we've spoke about it so I'll, I'll definitely give them a shout out on here as well when it's all said and done but um yeah crunch time now we're going to do a podcast at your wedding. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> ben, let's go. That would be, that would be oh, good. Man, that would be, I feel like that's actually... If we like, had time. If you sat down and inter like all of your guests came by, that would actually... Uh, I never... I just thought of that just now, but just it like... It would be good if they could like... Well, they could actually like do a it with a, a vlog. Yeah, I guess that's true. Right? Like, like if you set up a camera and like press record and say like a few words to... Yeah. That's actually kind of so. So Brattle Social is amazing. They came to Dar. They had I met them first at Daria's wedding, and I hired them for ours. So what's big right now, and as you could, you're in this field, like you know these things are amazing, right? Mm -hmm. And professional photography and all that is is great. We all want that, but we tend to always want to just be like, let's take a selfie, right? Or 100%. like you want to get those moments. So So Brattle so Social is a company that's you know we're having at our wedding, and they basically. They have some professional cameras like they came to my bridal shower with a professional camera but also it's a lot of iphone content with like a light and it's stuff that you and you know you and your boys want to get when you guys are just hanging out but you don't really want to interrupt the conversation and be like oh let's take a picture so they're getting all that content Love that's that. like so it's all candids so candids like, are the best though. they're the best Candids the best to make a video Instead with of just memories being like with posing and you know you guys are all in the moment you guys are having a cigar hanging out you're laughing like where nobody even knows they're there but what a smart like business Great that idea. they created because now they're they're expanding they're getting so big um and they just get all the candidates and the best is you get the content within like 24 hours because they just upload to like a dropbox or google drive or whatever oh that's awesome so you don't have to wait weeks and weeks to get edits and so i gotta get an iphone then you're saying yeah pretty much there also <laughs> is an app that i want to let you guys know yes. um, my brother did it at his <clears> wedding <throat> basically it's an app where everyone that downloads it Whenever they take a picture, it gets uploaded. So I saw that. I, I'm sure you. Yeah. So basically, it's like you all can do your own pictures as well. It's just another another. They they thing. have I know I've seen stuff on Instagram even like the QR code and like upload your photos there or everyone put their pictures so you have everything. So yeah, yeah. I haven't decided. But I feel like that might get a little yeah congested the like, qr code yeah same yeah, 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 I, yeah i think so too yeah, like a lot of people <laughs> yeah i'm like oh, i gotta scan a qr code right now like <laughs> yeah. people get annoyed yeah. um so anyway that's it on the wedding we won't bore you guys too much about the wedding but it's i think there's a lot of people out there planning a wedding and like to know some insights you know and how to save a buck here and here too which we didn't really do no we did <laughs> a lot of collaborations we did the collaboration saved thank, us thankfully thankfully thank you, thank, you, thank you babe yeah <laughs> that'll get myself a pat on the back so anyway, um, gosh, let's get into some of this Diddy drama. Oh my goodness. I know everyone's following this uh, P. Diddy like, drama, huh? What is going so, on? So, Ben, I'm going to have you pull this up, but I read something that there was like 784 dildos found yeah. with like, what, like 1,100 oh. bottles of baby oil Yeah, I don't in know the house. specific number. But ben, can you pull the, it up? The exactly best what is that though, was? everyone's saying like, you know how long it takes to go through one bottle of baby oil? Like, have you ever had baby oil, obviously? Like, it takes a long time to go through one bottle. Like, he had thousand. I don't even know like what the number was. 1,100 bottles of baby oil. First of all. What are you doing? First of all, I'm just throwing this out there. I, I've never used baby oil for lube. I thought baby oil was not good for lubrication. It's not. And that's so what are they using? Yeah, I don't it's understand. Not, I don't know what, I mean. Why couldn't it be like KY used, jelly or something? Yeah, it's... Astro Glide. You, oh, again, he doesn't, his phone. Um, some of these videos of these kids 
imitate like with the baby oil there's all these like videos going around where like they're they're obviously making fun of the situation and like they're sliding everywhere like that's what the house must have been like everyone's sliding on baby oil and falling and stuff Ben, have you seen those which ones the, the videos of like people sliding everywhere and they're like the the kids that are doing it like they're like young tiktokers you uh, probably haven't then. I don't know if I've seen it. Yeah, no, <laughs> They're was, really stupid. I was looking for... It said 784 dildos were yep. found at Diddy's house. Yeah. So, what do you mean? 784 dildos? Like, like, what? What are you doing? What are you 784 for? I, I knew dildos were like a fetish. Like some, but like, I didn't... But why 784, why though? Is there because he was putting on freak shows. Did he just they pass them out like the way you pass out bottles of water and like alcohol they, at freaking parties? I don't understand. God damn. That, the way... <laughs> Damn. The, the, the what went on at these parties, and it, we can laugh about it, and it is it's, disgusting. It's, it's disgusting. Like, what and the hell? The thing that bothers me the most is that, like, obviously, a lot of celebrities are um, their names are coming up. You know, it's all hearsay. We don't know anything, right? Really, um, but a lot of celebrities were going to these parties, and everything was just it's a party, and you know, people knew what was going on. You can't tell me that they didn't know what was going on. They knew what was going on, and everyone just turn their cheek or just that that world that hollywood world just it's okay to do that like even the stuff about justin bieber like i'm sorry but he, That's when you actually look at some of these videos and even with the women that were like oh, i forgot that one video but he was a young boy like they were young harassing oh him did you yeah, see that like I saw, yeah he was young like you think about it and they're like touching oh you smell good yeah. like oh let me get a little I'm like, you know, first of all, and that's he went through a lot of trauma and a lot of mess. And he talked well, he sings about it, even in some of his songs. But he went through a lot of like mental health issues. And I think a lot of that has a big part of it. Like and, you know, you're, you're trying to become this 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 big singer and and star. And he had so much talent. But it's like to think that people like used and abused the the, the ones that were young is the worst, <laughs> obviously, because they had less, you know, willpower, less power and, and whatnot. But. There, I don't know. I'm really see, interested to see what comes out. See, that of this. brings like a huge point because then you're like, did the parents get the? Because like, how is yeah. like? There's probably like so many conspiracy, but there's like all these young kids, these young actors. I feel like a lot of them definitely go through a lot of all of this. Oh yeah, for right? sure. Like the Disney stuff. Did you all see the that? Disney, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. So you think about it, you're like, well, these are kids. How did they get in this position? Well, it's sick too because you also think of like what people would do to get that record deal, right? Or to yeah, become famous. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, yeah. absolutely. Like you're literally selling your soul. You're selling your soul. Oh, 100%. And that's what Justin Bieber literally he, says in his song. On one of the songs, yeah. he's like, I sold I my sold soul. I sold my soul for the Ferrari, you know, whatever the Ferrari, yeah. uh, the lyrics I are. I thought that was a fake song. That's Me a real too, song? that's him. No, that ain't no fake. fake. That's real. I'm pretty that's sure. Real song. I'm, I gotta Actually, pull it up because I don't want to mess up. It sounds just like I'm singing. I thought it was. But it's just really disgusting to think that, like, the my biggest thing is when I think about it is, like, regardless of what's true and what's not, like, people were okay with knowing that this went on and, like, the Diddy party. Like, it was a thing. Like, I mean, how many times did you see, you ever say, oh, nothing like a Diddy party? Yeah, nothing like a Even, Diddy like, party. LeBron said it one time, show. like, years ago, like... They're all pulling the articles up with people saying yeah, it. It's like, a, it's no big deal. But now it is a big deal because he's deal. behind bars getting charged with all this shit. You like know, it's, it's, to me, the 784 dildos and, and, and the videos that come out of, of him being with other dudes and, and, and all that stuff. And, you know, what bothered me the most out of everything was him putting his hands on... Uh, Cass, what's her name? Cassidy. Ca yeah. Cass is it yeah. Cassie or Cassidy? Cassie, um, the what singer, Cassie? his ex-girlfriend, whatever. That that to me was so disturbing. I mean, that's that disgusting. That video was so. A man that hit, hits a woman is is such a coward, in my opinion. Is such a such yeah. a coward, weak individual. And for me, like just seeing that video, um, I know this other stuff is like. I already have an opinion on him just from that video yeah. of him beating her and kicking her when she was down. I don't that, 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 that guy even deserves to, zero to breathe fresh air again after that. Yeah. But now to hear these more and more stories about you know his parties and this and that, yeah. I, I heard he um, he offered $50 million bail and they, and they, they turned it down. they denied it, yeah. yeah. Good. Good for them. Because also they, they want, obviously they want to get um, information out of this, but like I wonder what's going to happen though because now they're saying you know he's on suicide watch and whatever, but... They always say that anyway. Well, of course he's on. He's going to do anything. I mean, I'd be. Yeah. I'd, he's gonna, I'd, first of all, he is. And secondly, he's going to say anything he want or can to get out of jail. Yeah, it's disgusting, and I just think that um, that world is very, very. It's just it's sad that 
it's really sad for the 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 talent like the young ones because I think as you're you're an adult you make your own decisions mm -hmm. and I think you're very you know when you're when you're young you're very influenced and uh you're approached by all these people and it's like it, it's a hard that's the hardest business to get in so it's like when you're young and you want to get in and you know some of these women like Lady Gaga talked about it how oh, like, yeah. she had to like basically sleep her way to the top like that's sad like why do you with but she has so much talent it wasn't like she didn't well, have talent yeah everyone, a lot, there's a lot of talent out there though yeah but like Lady Gaga has a lot of talent. Her voice, I mean, come on. Absolutely. It's just, it's crazy. Well, it's crazy. But anyway. There's um, a lot of stuff. I'm, did I'm, you find out I mean, if the song is oh really him? Oh, my God. Him? Uh, I don't think it is. No? Damn. But I will say there is just so much stuff about this. Like, yeah. It's, it's, you could, oh, this story goes it, deep. Oh, the other night. Sat, on a Diddy party. Yeah. I lost myself on a Diddy party. There's a lot of. Uh, yeah, I heard him say he lost himself at a Diddy party before. It's 99.9% .9 sure it is fake. Really? I can't prove a negative, but there's no mention. Yeah. So either way, it sounded just what AI is crazy. AI these days. is crazy, but at the same time, like you re when I read it and heard, I was like, wow, sounds this is just like him. Yeah. Sounds just like him, but also it was like this all makes sense. Like yeah. you sell your soul. Yeah. You, know, you get it's 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 and crazy. I feel like being famous he, is really hard. <laughs> yeah, and that's a different type of famous, you know, that's yeah. That's yeah, A-list celebrities that it's just, I, you know, and to wrap it up, it's just sad that someone with, you know, that power thinks for well, thinks he, he has that he much thought, power. Well, thinks he does, money, exactly. Yeah. For so many years that he would never get caught. Like you, you never thought anyone was going to come raid your house. And then you, they find all these things and it's like, hello, writing is on the wall. Like you're a fucking freak. Disgusting. Anyway. No, it's onto bigger and better things. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rabbit hole, though, for sure. Because having the other night when I was on my phone, I was looking, you know, TikTok. I'm looking at these videos. And I don't know what's true, but I'm like, oh, you could you can go on for hours looking at this shit. Because yeah. these interviews are coming up, like you said, the LeBron interview. These interviews are coming up from all, you know, these past years of. Then you 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 didn't think that it was weird when they said it, but then now that you know you know what you know when they say it, you mm -hmm. go, oh head turn a little bit like exactly so we start putting yeah. the puzzle pieces yeah. together oh, lo you know absolutely freak show why do you call these ditty parties freak show then he had he had an all you know nude party uh, it's just crazy yeah. anyway interesting um that's the ditty drama that we'll get into so do you want to <laughs> we'll just do it for a little bit because it's really silly um we, i get a lot of mean tweets and comments i mean you do too you have some really mean ones on here <laughs> and just to get a good laugh to end it on a I wouldn't say positive because this isn't even a positive note, but to end it on uh, something else. Um, do you want to hear some of these comments yeah, that we get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm not shouting the person out because I'm not giving you the validation for a shout out. So I can't you can wait. suck it. I can't wait. Um, but, I, but I think it's great. Yeah, suck it. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, this is funny. Like, in very interesting. She's been using illegal substances for those ugly ass lips, though. Like a lot of stuff, I'm like. This is on our podcast thing. No, these are. Uh, they could be podcasts. I think I don't know. Uh, we pulled them from somewhere, but like half the shit, you don't even make sense. Like, what have I been using illegal substances on my lips? How do you do? Just what do attention. You... I just want attention. <laughs> what? Like they just want attention. That's hilarious. Okay. Um... <laughs> what? What illegal? I don't even know like, what that is. What, what... Like what illegal substance you put in your lips? I don't understand. Yeah, like so stupid. Okay, I can't. <laughs> Um, oh, that one's not that bad. Um, well, there was a really good one. Oh, this should be called Internet Thought Thinks She's Smart. Yeah, good one. So stupid. Um, you really got her. Yeah. No. You really got, got her. Got him. Got him. Got him. Isn't that sad? Oh, wait. Though? Also, I love these ones. Like, I did it for eight years, but I'm not a wrestler. Also, you're not a wrestler, so please stop bringing up wrestling. Not a wrestler. Oh, uh, but like, what I made do you a, mean? a living for eight years. Yeah, that was like what Wait, I did. WWE. Aren't you the double you champion? The, yeah, I was double a double champion, champion. NXT superstar. I unified the two Wait, titles. But, but you, you didn't. But wrestle. I'm not a wrestler. You're not yeah, a wrestler. No. Yeah. no, no, no. These people, entertainment, pure entertainment. It blah really blah blah is. blah. I know. Let's get a good one for Savvy to no, end yeah, it. Mine's are the best ones. That, I, uh, oh gosh, let's see. Some of them honestly are so bad with like grammar that i can't even read them because i don't even know what they're saying yeah, at least if you're gonna talk shit proofread that shit right yeah right proofread it just shit. proofread it it's fine oh yeah yeah um oh that one is just i can't say that one but i really would love to 
but I'm not going to go there. Um, wait, there was a really good one. Oh, <laughs> you ready for this one? <laughs> I'm ready. Ben's ready. I'm he ready. gets entertained by this shit. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. Let's hear it. Okay. This is the savvy. Oh, goodness. Tough hair transplant. Hair dye for the lad. <laughs> hair transplant. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's one thing you don't say about ben, another man. Ben, tell him, Ben. Hey, I wish, hey, you know what? I might need one, but damn. That's a compliment. To me, I've been pretty damn good since I'm, I'm 41. I've never had anything yet. I would say that's a compliment, though. Mm. If you, they think you have a hair transplant, shit, would, that actually, means your hair plant, hair plant, hair transplant. You, you mean my hairline's good. good. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like the compliment. I feel see. like that's kind of, yeah. Wow. You know what? Tell them I might need one in like a few years, though, and make sure I'll get yeah. a good one. Okay, and I'll end it on this one instead, That's the best. actually. Um, I get these a lot, so I find them really funny. And I'm like, like, thank God I'm a confident person because like these people are so disgusting. Like, he's cheating on you every day. Like, I have these comments sometimes they're like, oh, he cheats on her all the time. Like they, they know you or something. I'm like, you how guys about, are sick. How in about the I got head. A, I got a DM from her last oh, this appearance. One's good. Her last appearance, and the guy was like, just so you know, I want you to know Amanda went to Dolph Ziggler's room for like 52 and a half minutes. Like he wrote yeah, like 52 and, 52 and a half and minutes. And Dolph minutes. really was there at the and appearance Yeah, they were, they were at the appearance Sick. together. So she was like, so I got his DM and said, I just want you to know that she went to his room for 52 and a half minutes. Like 52 and a half minutes. And oh Savvy like asked me as a, like, obviously he told me in that and he's like, you know, we, we joke around with each other and we had, we had the gun out as a joke, like one in the chamber. And I'm like, 52 and a half minutes. Like how do, th these people are insane. Yeah, they try to like, Say a comment that like they actually like it's almost so like detailed that you believe <laughs> like, it. Like you almost say, yeah, yeah. Like, fifty two and a half yeah, minutes. Like a half minute. They should have like, put the seconds. That it would have been more convincing. You know what? Right? But again, though, this is just all whole bunch of people unhappy with themselves. And we, we do this podcast a lot. And I like to hear people's stories and get inspired. But like when I hear these comments, man, it, it's just you know it's just a negative mindset and they're just not happy with themselves in every aspect of life and i feel like you know but you know what you're also not doing it and if you get you get haters because you're, you're doing something well, right at the end like of the I said, day always, too. yeah exactly i wasn't always so have an opinion keep about them you. coming because we love them we love them i love them yeah it, listen it was my we biggest just, motivation my whole life to be successful damn you telling me yeah crazy and it takes a very confident, strong person to never, like, I know some people that actually had to, like, go off Twitter or social media, like, women specifically, because it got to them so bad about, like, the comments that they get. And I'm like, that's sad. Like, that's so messed up that, yeah, like, you're deep. letting people control and they, 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 if they could, if they notice they're controlling your emotions, they're going to continue to keep going. Yeah. That's the bad part about it, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. So it's, yeah. for me, it's, ugh, man. But again, use as fuel, man. I, I love it. It's oh, like the worst part I find is probably they would never say that to your face. Oh, the best. Oh, that's like, oh dude. It's like the it's like oh, meet me, meet me at Starbucks. And, yeah, and, and then say and that same comment, the, please. Same the, word the best, for word. The best part is social <laughs> ma media has made the most tough guys and tough girls I've ever seen in my life. Right, because they could sit behind their computer and behind yeah. their phone and say whatever they want. But see, back in the day, you don't say that to people. You don't. You would never say to a person somebody's face. No, you get knocked out 30, 40 say. years ago. Right now, people can go on these these chats and talk shit. Oh, I'm tough. Oh, this guy's a bum. This dude. Bomb, 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 this girl, whatever. But it's like, bro, you're you're behind a computer screen. Like, yeah, what are you it's, doing? It's pretty sad. Yeah. So that to me is is comical, man. That it really is comical. So it is. But anyway, um, you know, gotta love the haters. Love um, the haters. So we got some work to do because we have a wedding coming up. Absolutely. I got some work to do. <laughs> no, uh, me too. Okay. <laughs> me too. Um. So we appreciate you guys listening. Um. We will be posting. Uh, even though we probably should take a little break, it might be hard. But well, we'll, we'll also, be I want to any questions people have leading up to this that we can answer on a podcast. Yeah, the definitely wedding. send your Give questions. Give us the questions. We love the emails. Uh, send them to Power Alphas Podcast. Anything you at, want us to talk about, we love it. Send them to Power Alphas Podcast at gmail dot com, and uh, continue watching us. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and OnlyFans TV, and wherever else you watch your podcasts. See you guys soon. Thank <laughs> you.